We got a whole last pandemic happening. We got just so much. It's just a lot. In 2020, it's been great to us, but as a unit, us, it's all us, together. But as a unit, it's been a little rocky. It so definitely we, has. you know, we have these funny conversations off camera. <laughs> and and we, we was like, we gonna shoot a video about right. this one because I feel like this one gonna touch, could touch a lot everybody. of souls. Yeah. So real quick. You ever notice that your kids really don't understand none of the struggles you went through as like, a child? Like none at all. Like. <laughs> It's mildly irritating, like, when you think about it, because it's like, wh why? And you really want to know why. I feel like it's good parenting. I do. That's why, I, and that's why I want to come and say, it's like mildly irritating because you're like, I did this, and it's like, I feel like maybe these are some essential life skills that you might want to carry over, but I also be like, well, that's good because then that means they definitely don't have anything that we went through. Right. They didn't definitely go through that. So, it, it, at the end of the day, it's like, okay. It's like it's good and it's bad. Yeah. We've noticed a few things, though. Yeah. <laughs> We've compiled a short list. We just Our uh, kids don't know nothing about struggling. Now, when we got married and we started having children, we said, we actually sat down and talked about all the things yes. we wanted to keep our children from huh. outside we of did. the things that we went through and we felt like as kids we maybe shouldn't have went through. Not saying anything negative about our parents, but I think the goal is to give each generation a better or something better. Life, yeah, yeah, okay? which is natural. You should want that. So, real quick, there's, there's, there might, these are like five signs that your kids might not understand the struggle. Your kids either. And I want you to, after this video, start <laughs> this a situation. Because it's definitely going to, and even if you don't, after this video, I feel like you're going to be unsubconsciously noticing. Thinking about it. Yeah. So, number one. Your kids don't know when you've added water to stretch something. <laughs> so, when it oh! was this video. Was my, was my five-year-old. five-year-old. <laughs> yes. So, real quick, y'all know when it's getting towards the end of the soap, when you don't feel like going out, because you know how life can get dish in the soap. way. Dish soap. We're Regular about, soap, too. Regular soap, too. But you know how, and, and water added to everything, really, not even just soap. That's just the national for, like, stretch anthem. You add it to national whatever. Stretch. Yeah, you know, you add it to make more, right? So, our five-year-old is, we're eating chicken. And she got ketchup and all kind of barbecue sauce on her fingers. She, so she goes to wash her hands, right? And so I've been going back and forth to the store like this past week and just keep, you know, how you go to the store and just be like, I went to the store and yeah, still didn't get it. Still yeah, didn't get it. Yeah. Right. So that's what's been happening with me with this dish soap. For real, it's been ducking and dodging <laughs> me for about two weeks now, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> Y'all gonna have my way buddy today? <laughs> or somebody <laughs> go. Try to toss tonight. That's how I feel about the soap. I feel like I feel like Craig and Dad ain't been like I feel like that about the soap. So, anyways, so I've added some water to the soap, and you can clearly see that I've added a little water, right? <laughs> so, I guess it never dawned on us that you know she was going to do this. So she goes up to the sink because they got little stools because we all about them. independence, right? To wash her hands. And let me tell y'all something. I, I'm going to demonstrate. <laughs> This is the this is the bottle of soap, and this is what this girl literally said to us. Looked us squarely in the eye and did this. I'm squeezing it. There's all the soap running out with the water. No, she's squeezing it. She's squeezing it, and this girl gonna look at us and say, "There's no soap." No, that's not what she said. She said, "Why is there water in this soap?" <laughs> Oh my God! I'm raising bougie children. Oh my God! That, <laughs> that hit. That struck a chord with me. <laughs> Do y'all know how upset I was? <laughs> you didn't wasted it. That's why there's no more soap. I said, girl, you didn't pour the whole soap down the damn drain. That's where the soap went. You're supposed to put a little on there, rub it, and do it. This girl looked at us and said, "Why is there water in the soap while squeezing the soap?" I can that. I mean, just was savagery. Just I feel like she did it on purpose. And that struck me because I was like, I like as a it. kid, 
That was the national number one thing. When the soap got to the end, you knew your mama wasn't going to go get no soap. If ain't no soap appeared by the time the soap got to at the, the end, end we you wait, are gone. We waiting on it. It's it's a it's I, a paycheck in the process. Because I don't think that I've ever experienced a bottle of dish soap that didn't have water in it at one point in time. I've never as experienced a child. It, for real, my as kids, my grandma is well off and she still do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, I don't get it. I, I really God. don't get it. Like, you knew. So, that's no, that's struggle number one. Number two, because just, just hold on. Because this is what it real. They're getting realer as we go. <laughs> so, the soap debacle was enough. Okay, it was good. was good. So, but this is going to be. Your kids think the toothpaste is gone because they can no longer get it out. So y'all know how when the toothpaste get in, you know how you start rolling it, pushing it up, then when you get real quick, we back because <clears throat> we had a malfunction. But yeah. anyway, like we saying, y'all know how whenever the toothpaste get low, you roll it up and then you you push the stuff forward and then if you really struggling, then you cut it. Right? They, they ain't even experienced they ain't even got that the cut. Yet. They ain't even on the cut yet because I feel like that's too advanced for them. I that feel is like, too advanced. I feel like well, I'm taking them down the deep end on that one. And our kids are just, you know, I've just noticed our kids are just bougie as hell. All of them. They're like, very bougie. And they have parents like us that's, I don't understand. I don't either because we we definitely from the hood. And I but just, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, again, that's a testament to our parenting, which is which is very great because, you know, you could always use that as a measure of, uh, I guess, success if you want to do that. But I just feel like with the toothpaste, though. Sunday would throw this away. Yeah. And it's full. It's basically full. She's like, I can't get it out anymore. Yeah. No, you just want Sunday the full just, one. She just does. She needs to marry stuff. well. She, she definitely needs to marry a man that's willing to take care yeah. of her. Because she's she not. She don't know any. She's not gonna. She have. got expensive taste. She does from a little age. So, yeah, half a thing. She's gonna be the parent that's definitely gonna have two and three soaps be, at the same time. Like. You she's gonna overdo. She yeah. definitely. She needs to marry somebody that she's not gonna have a budget with. Yeah, cause she's gonna. Cause she's gonna run it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, anyways, yeah, toothpaste number three. This is a big one for me. Your this kids do not, not understand hood sandwich terminology. Ah, that's a big one. It, I don't like it. I, the kids don't know what a serve sandwich is. Sugar, sugar sandwich. sandwich. Mayonnaise tomato sandwich. They don't even know what a sloppy joe is. A manwich. Turn of all, Mama saw that shit on the shelf the other day at the grocery store. And she was like, Mama, what is this? This is like what you used to make us when we was little. <laughs> and she was like, but I ain't never seen this in our house. I was like, because I never did the manwich. I don't did. like canned foods. Yeah. So I've never, my kids have probably eaten canned foods twice in their life. Maybe. Unless they yeah. were somewhere. Unless it was like somewhere. at home. Yeah. Unless they were somewhere else. So I never did that. I didn't mind out of straight ground meat. But she was really like disgusted. She really was. She just they just found out the other day that right potatoes right. could come in a Oh uh, yeah, they did. They could come in a box. And they talked about that the whole way home. Huh? They really did. They I were mean, so fascinated about it. You guys have eaten. I'm like, I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all got the good life. Y'all over here complaining that we make y'all eat y'all vegetables. <laughs> And we over here didn't eating potatoes out of a damn box. Add water and poof, you got potatoes. It can't, all, that can't be right. Our kids don't even know what <laughs> it can't be. It can't be right. Have you ever who, who, said, who, who came up with that? No, have you ever wondered this? <laughs> Every time I see box potatoes, I can only think one thing. What, what the fuck is <laughs> this? That's what I said. How does it just, what is it? But because it's 39 cents, our parents don't give a damn. Babe. Why that? Get six of those. Babe, it's just a lie. I mean, we didn't get an answer. I think we need to Google it. Cause what is it? Like, how do you just turn to potatoes into I don't know. Powder? To this day, it can't I'm, be a safe procedure. I was just gonna say, to this day, I'm so amazed that one that they could even do something like that. I'm blown at the pure chemistry of it. <laughs> Number two is I can't believe we still fucking alive. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Well, I I used to eat that from my mama, but my grandma who cooked most of my dinners never made anything from a box really. So I just I don't get it. I, I really don't. I, I have, I, I don't know. It's still mind blowing to this day. But yeah, our kids really just they they don't know what hood sandwiches is or none of that. They don't. Mama won't even eat a sandwich if she don't have cheese. cheese. She will literally starve. I've eaten just the meat. <laughs> we 
wait a minute. I just got no the kids the other day. I just I used to <laughs> eat the pack of meat because that's all we had. And damn it, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> no, the kids I'm just hungry. learned what a sandwich roll up was the other day. We all had no bread. Y'all know we all had no bread. You oh, put the meat yeah. and then the cheese on top, the microwave it, then roll it up. The kids was like, that was mind blow, y'all. They was like. Oh my God, and mommy! This is basic one on one. Our kids have our kids are not this gonna is, make the, it. The process for me, the problem for me is it's not it's survival. Yeah. So are we failing them by not teaching them survival? <laughs> that's how I feel. I feel like that's exactly what it is. I I feel like it's definitely survival, and I just like I don't understand it at all. I don't know. Our kids are bougie. Let's just go ahead and say that. So. Number four. Hold on, kid. What is it? What is it? I'll cut this part. Why? What? See what I'm saying? Kids. Anyways, the fourth one is your kids ask what are the dinner options? What? Options. We have options? You remember when you used to... Because it was that same syrup sandwich every night, <laughs> night for me. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm going to give my grandma props because my grandma used to cook me dinner all the time. My mama didn't. We would always eat like quick stuff. So when I got older, I started going to my grandma's house because she lived down the street and she would cook me. Yeah. My grandma to this day, she just a woman woman. Yeah. And she cooked yeah. like every day. And also she's extreme. She is an accounting major. So she's extreme about budgeting. So she barely eats out because... She don't want to spend the money, and that's why she got money. Right. But at any rate, um, I never had options though. It was like, as a kid, for us, if somebody cooked you something, that's what you was eating. You ain't get out of eating that unless you unless was allergic she, to something. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Whatever was literally put on the dinner table, we didn't know what Period. it was gonna be. Only, that was fair game because either you was going to do that or starve. And I'm going to be honest with you. Family. They were serious about the starve. You're definitely <laughs> going to starve because there's nothing else in here for you to eat, cook. Don't go in there and try to make a sandwich or make something different. I remember one time my mom cooked dinner and I thought I was going to eat a sandwich. I, I got the worst ass weapon. I guess that that was a thing. Like, <laughs> the sandwiches for, you know, the black mama, the sandwiches are for lunch only. Don't go in them chicken nuggets. That's only for, drink juice, juice during meals. meals. You know what I'm saying? I, that was a thing. So, whatever was on the table, it was definitely, you're going to eat it. Like, whatever she came up with in her head that night. And you know what? As I think about it, my mama never asked us. Like, we asked the kids, what do you guys like for dinner? It was just... I always ask everybody that. And you know what? I feel like my childhood trauma of not having a choice has, has affected my this. parenting. Because he went through some of the same stuff. And so I'll always say, babe, what do you want for dinner tonight? And then I'll also ask the kids. And a lot of times we'll take a vote. Like, I'll give three, yeah, two or three, two choices, three choices. And then I will take a, vote. take a vote in the house. I don't know. I just feel like that's normal seeing to me. Like, I feel like that would be, and, and maybe not, well, what we kind of feel. Because not all, I'm not saying all households are normal. But I'm saying I would feel like at least... To figure out what dinner, or at least announcing what dinner would be, would be some type of form of like normal. Now, I guess now everybody do their own different thing, and I'm not knocking however anybody does like dinner or whatever, but I would feel like, like, oh, hey, we gonna eat this, or hey, like some type of discussion about dinner, I feel like. Because we talk about that literally, and that's a conversation every day, unless... It's Tuesday. Then it's pot. Then we know we're going to Popeyes, Popeyes right? But that's or like, our ritual. Thing. Yeah, you know that's our ritual thing. Unless we know, like we just know our days. But when it's time to like definitely cook for her, she'll definitely ask, like, okay, hey, what do you like throughout the day? It could be while it's about to be dinner. She could ask me early in the morning. But it's always a conversation. I feel like we have. That'd be like, I okay, think, what y'all want for dinner? Can it be? And then we go through. So I think too, though, dinner is like a big thing for us because one thing we never did when I was growing up was that eat dinner too. at the dinner table, like as a family. And from again, that's one of the things from the very beginning where we were like, um, we want to actually do this because like we don't have no electronics, no phone, right? Put no, our nothing. phones in the room, mm -hmm. TVs off, everything, and we really like talk to our kids about whatever. And a lot of times it ends in like jokes or whatever, but right, all the time, yeah, yeah most <laughs> of the time. But that's when we just really make a time for everybody to talk, and we try to make that a culture in our house. So that's always a big thing. But I think you know, 
it's good and bad because we have been in times where we're financially struggling and our kids don't understand that, look, this is really all we got and this is how we planned it out so we can make sure that we have what we need. But when, and then for the most part, we don't financially struggle and so they do get choices. Wow. But I think the big thing in this video, even though it's all fun and games is, I think that there's a thin line between keeping your kids from the struggles you went through, but also letting them understand that there is a struggle in right, aspect to life. Right, right, right. So I think it's a good balance. So within the video, it's like a message within the message. Yeah. Because we definitely are talking about them. I'm not going to lie. But within that, like I said, you come back to the, well, that's good because all my childhood traumas and all of the things that I went through is like, we don't want that. It's totally opposite. Yeah. So Our kids are very expressive. They too. are. They really are. I feel are. like sometimes, we don't have this on the list, but I feel like this is a big one. Like, our kids really express themselves. I feel like some of the stuff that our kids say, we, we I really got dry kicked kick from. Kick for it. But also, I think, again, there's an element there's where it's balance. like, there's balance because our, I feel like when I was growing up, you really couldn't say shit. If you had a problem, if you felt some type of way about how you was being spoken to or how you felt, like you were not allowed to respond. question you wanted to ask really truly for right, understanding. For real. You could never like, ask why. Yeah. It was just because I told you so. Yeah, you know, and it could be, like I said, for truly understanding, not to even be funny or not to be like nothing. Just like, no, I really want to know because this could be something that... You know, I could take, but just, oh, I'm, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Or, yeah. You know, and, all of that. So. And not even, like, if you really want to know the answer, because I think I answer our kids all the time, and yes. I try to get them yeah. into the mindset of asking why, because I don't want them to become people that just do shit because other people because told them to do exactly. it. Exactly. Like, that is a critical thinking skill, going beyond what somebody told you. Yeah. But I think that, like, the biggest thing is... Whenever a, a child asks why, like when we get into job settings and stuff like that, one of the number, because I've been in leadership for a long yeah. time, one of the number one things that they tell you when you're training somebody is teach them the why behind what they're doing, what they're doing, because it gets them more emotionally invested in it. Right. So it's like, as a child, why weren't we allowed to ask why? But then we got to this point where we didn't, when we got became adults, you don't know how to communicate because you were never given the opportunity to have that dialogue. Right. I'm really trying to like avoid that with our children because yeah, I feel like yeah, definitely, it causes definitely. issues not only in regular life but also causes issues in relationships not only romantic relationships but platonic relationships that you got all this baggage from childhood yeah, for sure. I mean yeah. you don't get childhood trauma regardless, regardless no matter how good right, your parents yeah, are yeah, but no. that's a big one for me definitely a big one so yeah just take that just understand that that, that definitely is the message within that message so um it's funny games, but there's also some real stuff behind it. Because that's right. just what we do. Uh, but the last one. The last one definitely got to be the most funniest one. This is the most hilarious shit. I feel like it's the most ridiculous one. Because to me, it's an oxymoron. But your kids want to be normal. I'm like, you have no idea how normal you are. Our kids feel like not being normal is not having a toy list. Yeah, they feel like definitely like they're not supposed to... <laughs> Cleaned up at all, and I'm laughing because it's story time. Oh my gosh, our oldest daughter. Okay, first of all, this is a this is a transparent parenting moment. We suck at keeping our kids on task with with, with chores. Co yes, like one of us will be really about it, and the other one will be like, "I'll just do it," or "I'll, I'll just, just do it," or know, whatever. We don't know, like it's really, and that's me. I'm that's me, sis. I'm the. I'm the parent that'll just do it, so. <laughs> and I'm all about, like, empowering them to do things for themselves. That, that's me. Let's just go ahead and be honest. He that's is, but I think I, it's just because you're the dad and they're girls. That's that's part of it. And then the other part is really, I know how I'm going to do it. And I got my process. So I feel like it's just faster. But I'm totally, like, cutting their legs from up under them. And I don't even be knowing when it do come time to, like, do something. And their mom will be like, get on it. They act ah, 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 and it irritates her because I'm the one that's doing it. So I got to learn how to. Ah. We had a moment tonight. Yeah. Because, and then, he, he, but see, the thing is, I have to tell him in a way that he understands. <laughs> so, oh my God. We, yeah, we need to shoot these videos. We did. We did. And he was like, man, I got to clean up the kitchen first because on Tuesdays I don't cook. Um, we either eat leftover sides or I mix up the quick like, quick, like rice and green beans, and we just eat the chicken. And so, um, 
I was like, babe, they can do that. You, we did the kitchen earlier today. It's yeah. their turn, right? Some people already know. Y'all like, y'all keep y'all give y'all kids turns. Like, y'all clean the kitchen and they cook. Yes, we do because our kids right. are not slaves. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I remember when I was growing up, I had to do everything by Maybe my that's damn part sense. of the reason why I do it for them because when I was growing up, I just felt like that. So I'm like, like did you have me so I could bring you the remote? Like, they do I, that was my life. Or... <laughs> it was it was the remote and after school homework. <laughs> I feel like those two never ended. It was never ended. I feel like I was just always doing dishes and chores. Definitely. And definitely. being, you know, like, nothing bad to my parents because, honestly, I'm a psychology major and I'm going to school to be a counselor mm -hmm. um, next year. And so, honestly, I'm to the place where I feel that people did the best that they could do. And as long as I feel they did the best that they could do right. with what yes. they were given, then this is what it is. And our, the generation that our parents came from, they didn't know no better. So, that's what they did. But I'm telling you, like, my dad and my mom with, with these chores, was they was out of... It was a lot. Like it was a lot. So. Now, my mom's wife, she was more like, you gotta know how to do things for yourself kind of thing. Yeah, but so... Tonight, I was like, it's their turn. They need to wash the dishes. And he was like, no, I'm gonna I'm do it. Gonna and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, giving him this look. Like, okay, here you go with this again. It's their turn to wash the dishes. They can do this. Like, they smart girls. Whatever, whatever. And I was like, okay, you know, all the things that you love about me, how I cook, how I always have your dinner ready, how I clean, how I keep yeah. myself together, even when, if I don't wear makeup, how I just take care of something like they're going to be somebody's wife one day, and they going to know how to do all of this stuff. They're going to know how to do that. You so, know? And then he was like, shit. Yeah, I had to back, I had to back off, because I was like, okay, 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 okay. I just like, but, like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> I, you know, it is what it is. It's my girls, man. So sometimes they, it'd be like the father element, and I'd just be like, nah, I don't worry about it. But then on the other side, I'd be like... No, I'm just going to get it done because I'm ready to get it done right now. I know I'm going to do this stuff right here and I'm going to knock it out. So, but yeah. Um, well, we didn't do the story time. So, oh, I yeah, back to story time. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, because I was rounding it about out to that anyway. Oh, okay. So, your kids want to be normal, but. So, our oldest daughter, our kids is just not, they're not big on chores. It's our fault because we're not as consistent with making them do chores. Yeah. We really should be, and we're working on that, like I just made a chore list, whatever. But our oldest daughter, I'm going to be honest and say, just like every older, oldest sibling, yeah. she has a lot of responsibility, and she's a very responsible kid. Like, she's very, she's really like me. She's very eclectic. She's very, like, artsy. She keeps herself together. She keeps her things together. She's a yeah. clean person, things like that. But obviously, like, she got three other little sisters. And so, I think she had a moment where she was just like, I'm tired of always being a leader. Because we have always taught her, like, leadership, especially because her sister's right, right. And she was just like, I'm tired. Like, we told them they need to clean up the kitchen. And <laughs> she had a whole meltdown. She was like, I'm tired. And I just want to be a normal kid and not do chores. Let me be and I tried so hard. Not because she was laugh. crying. But I bust out laughing. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I, I, I laughed at her. <laughs> I came from the other side of the room just to laugh at that. I was like, you want to be a normal kid? <laughs> what you is know that? that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Normal kid? You have no idea how normal you actually really oh, are. Yeah. Like, you couldn't be more normal if I say so myself. I'm like, you have no idea what you, you, you and my mom, I mean, me and your mama went through. Like, Nothing as kids get okay, growing up normal. <laughs> I was like, girl, and I'm telling you right now, I, and we don't do this with our kids. But that was one night I was like, I'm gonna have to. You just but, hey, just bust the kitchen, and I'm gonna have to let it go for the night. And I usually don't just bust my kids. In the morning. I like to figure out why. You know, like I said, we do talk to our kids, and our kids are expressive. So she has that area to operate in. She's she I'm fine with her telling me she's tired and all. But that was just one thing I'm like, I'm not about to get into it with you with this about And like, I think it was touchy for me because I I feel like, you know, whatever, if you knew here then you probably don't know, but you're finna learn today, this is an extremely pro black space. And I feel like black women are not always given the room to be tired. Yeah. Like so I am really like, if one of my kids say I'm tired, I'm very big on trying to teach them 
your boundaries and self love right. and how to take right. rest yeah. when you are tired so that you don't push yourself to the point of breakdown. Right. That's what happens to not only black women, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. but black men as well, definitely, right? Definitely. And it can happen to anybody. Yeah. But this is my experience as a black woman and I'm raising black daughters. Yeah. So I'm very big on that. But that night I was like, sis, don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. It was over. Because I'm like, if I get to really breaking down how normal your life is compared to mine, like literally to ours, and I'm not going to say mine because we both had rough childhoods growing up. I'm like, it was, it's literally no comparison. None at all. The you talking you know, about the, the two days a week you wash dishes versus my seven times three? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Basically my whole life washing dishes and not even just that, just, just a lot of the stuff that's on the list. Like, has been the reason why we do those things because we've grown up like that. Like, food for me was always a big thing. When we got married, I used to be like, oh, if we got low, I would get the like, uh huh, like stressing and being because we never had food growing up. And so, for me, we would have food, but if I felt like my standards would be, I don't know, because we might, and we might have six or seven, eight or nine more meals left or whatever, you know. It don't matter for me. It just, it takes me back to that time where I'm like, dang, we don't have anything and not knowing like if what we you gonna eat, eat or what, yeah. not even, not if we gonna eat because we did, but what are you going to eat and things like that. So I like really get anxiety about the shit because I was Me too. Like, I'm not gonna lie. For me, it's the same thing yeah. because again, when my mama and my mom's wife bought the house near my grandma, that was like a huge weight off of me because for me, we really didn't have yeah, food like that. No. And my, my mom was like the type of person that would eat fast food all the time. And that really is what killed her. But I, you know, for me, we don't eat out a lot because I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. Like when I was a kid, that's all we did was eat out. So when my mom moved next to my grandma, I stayed there because my grandma, she always got food. Like she packed rats. Uh, deep freezers. Oh, and like yeah. she always going to have She food. got like four f freezers. Like she'll be like... <laughs> Going in the deep freezer and get mine. I'll be having to say, which one? She she be like the third one over there behind the shelf. Let's buy the next one with the blue and gray. For real, Granny <laughs> got Granny got freezers, and I'll be like, sometimes I'll be like, maybe she went through the same shit. And it was like, <laughs> I don't want to do it. When we did, I don't blame her. When we first really got married, like, sometimes we would be struggling because we was young. We got married at yeah. eighteen and nineteen. Sometimes we'd be struggling with food, and I would call my grandma, and I would literally come over there, and she would give me like two or three bags of meat. Just out of freezer. yes. And then you go look at the freezer, and it'd be looking like she ain't missing nothing. No, nothing. So that's what she used to do because she used to be like the meat is the most expensive, so she would give you all the yeah. meat because the sides. It's cheap it's beans, cheap. You right? Get some, like, you know what I mean? Gr green beans or whatever, you know. Whatever. So yeah, you're right. I remember that. I, I think for me, because my mom did not keep a refrigerator full of food, and how independent of a person I am, it would give me anxiety as a kid that I did not have control over yeah. feeding myself because I hate to say it like this, but I just didn't trust them. To like feed me That's when I was really hungry, kind right, of thing. right. And it sounds really bad, and I'm not saying that my mom was a bad parent at all. And neither am I. You yeah, know. It, it wasn't a bad parent. I think there was a lot of like financial situation going on there too. My dad, um, he was always there, especially financially. But my dad did do some time in jail, so there was times there when was he couldn't really help. Right. But my grandma and my aunt, they had my back always. Come so through. I'm not saying. That I just don't have family to support me. Like, if my family's watching, I don't you feel like that. But my mom, in my mom's house, I feel like we did not have food to yeah. where I feel like could be comfortable. And I think That's when really I think, is, yeah. yeah, I think when I think about the anxiety that I had about my next meal, like, I was really the kid that I might eat tonight or I might not when you leave school. You right, know what right, I'm saying? right. And when my grandparents got wind of that, that's when I stopped That's suffering in that change. way. Yeah. But, I think I never want my kids to experience that type of anxiety when it comes to food. And so I think we're a little bit more lenient on them because of that. But like, I, we had to realize that this is really childhood trauma. Like, yeah, when the refrigerator would get low, we would, I, would I would be the be, same way as yeah. him because. For me, rather than the experience of being hungry, for me it was I don't want my kids to experience the thought of am I going to be, be hungry? hungry? Right. So you know we 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 realize that some of the choices we yeah. make in our parents are for that, but they feel like they not normal because of expectation. I'm like you have no idea really how normal from, you are. Right. Our kids don't know none of the hood stuff: spaghettios, raviolis, ravioli. ramen noodles, cup noodles. 
They ain't I, never ate none of that because none of it's healthy for you. That old ham that you used to have to put on the pan to sear it and make it. You Spam? Know, the, nah, that in the is it was it the bologna that you used to put on the pan? Oh, bologna sandwiches. You know I, what I'm saying? I, I can't ever ate a the bologna pan. sandwich. You, you take Vienna a string sausage. around it. Vienna, ooh, sardines. Sardines? Come on, y'all. I y'all can't know, say they, never ate nothing. No, those sardines was ten dollars a piece or something. I mean, ten dollars, ten cents a piece. I used to get them things by the bundle and walk I around. I like the Louisiana ones. The yeah. Ones <laughs> so again, you know, it it's a it's like. It is a reflection of our childhood traumas, and I think we bring it out in the best ways, sometimes in the worst ways as well. But, you know, I think that uh, the point of the video is, like, the kids are bougie, and they feel like they're not, and we're like, y'all. Y'all are. So, they think they good because we from Ailey, and I'm like, sis. We from Ailey. We y'all, y'all are not from Ailey. Y'all, y'all live from in Care Ailey Land. For, they're not even from me. But you talk about them dudes in school, they be like, I'm from the West. I'm from sir, the West. Sir, you're from Fort Bend. Stop it. From the West. Stop it. <laughs> Y'all have to stop that. I'm from the West. I'm a cup game member, so I don't even know. I really don't even know. I, I, Anyways, <sighs> our kids think they hood, but they not. And they not. They we really got not. them out of that area at we a did, very at young a age because we didn't age. want them to like, experience. Goddess was he, before he got us even turned one. We were already in the home. No, no, yeah, no we right. we left two. No, Goddess was in school when we left. Christian okay, spent okay, the least time. Spent the least time. And Sunday and, didn't and, even live. And Sunday and, don't even know. Yeah, at all. So anyway, she don't get it twisted. She'll, she'll still tell you she's from the west. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and she'll do this. And she'll do that. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, whoa, don't throw up. I don't know how I feel about the baby. <laughs> Cause that's our kids, but yeah, man, you know, we want to shoot this for y'all, man, to kind of like, laugh. yeah, for a little laugh and let y'all in on on what's really going on. Cause you know that's our big thing. We love to be transparent. So um, we appreciate y'all tuning in. And yeah, we got the same clothes on because it's the same day. I won't hear nothing about it. Don't start that smoke, sis. You see what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna protect mine. You Don't get me? cussed out in the. Car. I shoot for mine. <laughs> not so anyways y'all look follow us subscribe man i know y'all know some people who who looking for some <laughs> some some um you know new content y'all subscribe let us know in the comments what your kids are bougie about and Do y'all have any more experience? signs yeah let me know if y'all know is, any more signs y'all let us is know is it just us please tell us we're not the only it's people probably not, that I, don't, I don't think it is and i wouldn't even call it failing but even if we are there are moments you, this is a guy. <laughs> this is the blueprint from now on. Then, so there you go. We just we just created it. So, peace.